this, I'm back once again and it's now time to show you Jelly Bean. Yep, Android 4.1 and I'm going to show you some of the new features that obviously are a part of it. So let's get into it. So as you see, you've got you pretty much, it's very similar to your ice cream sandwich lock screen. The only difference really is that instead of just being able to go to unlock and camera, and you also get this kind of little cool like little thing following you around, you can go straight to Google as well, so you can go straight to Google um, Google search, which I think is a nice you know, kind of inclusion, obviously the Google device, you want it straight on your lock screen, there it is straight up. Anyway, we're going to unlock it now. And obviously, one of the main features is what's called Project Butter. Now, for those that don't know, Project Butter is effectively, it's a way to try and make the actual device seem buttery smooth. Now, in previous versions of Android, you know, it has been a bit laggy-ish, you know, not as iPhone-esque as a lot of people will kind of, you know, name it as. I've named it like that in the past, you know. Glad to say, we'll see if we zoom in a tiny bit, just how smooth it actually is. Everything it is just buttery smooth. It is exactly how it's meant to be. Now, I've filled up all the actual panels, all the pages, just to try and show you on here. I'm sure there's no lag at all. It is very nice and smooth, jumping into the actual app drawer, once again, you know, everything, the animations, the actual camera probably don't pick up as to how nice and how smooth it actually is. You've really got to play with it to actually notice how subtle the little differences are. Some people, you know, will probably think it's no real difference. Um, me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a massive Android fan and this, you know, is pretty much, to me, it's the biggest update that could come for Android, um, you know, you've kind of needed a lot of power to give you that kind of kind of smooth feel. You know, I know it's still a dual core device, but it is, it's just made it feel like you know, a quad core device. It gives that kind of Galaxy S3 kind of feel to me, you know, to this device. And hopefully you'll probably see, you know, it's all like the nice animations and how fast and smooth it actually is. When you go into applications as well, you know, everything itself, you know, jumping around, you know, jumping into one to the other, going back out, it's got all those cool, just kind of like in and out, in and out, popping in and out. Doing multitasking this bad boy, you know. It's the quickest experience I've ever seen, as you probably saw there. It is just super slick and super fast. Show you again, you can see it there, popped out from the bottom. You know, little animations like that is all what part of you know, Project Butter is all about. It's about making the experience buttery smooth and just feeling fantastic. You know, as I said, giving that kind of like iPhone feel to those that want an iPhone. Yeah, I don't know why either. All right, so the next part we're going to look at is the notification drawer. Now, there's not been a massive difference. It's, you know, it's a nice little change for us. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can get a bit of a better look. So, obviously, at the top here, you know, as you'll probably see, um, if you just tap at the top, you just get, obviously, you can see your time and your date, and obviously what date is. And um, obviously, you get your new little um, settings button. Obviously, pulling it down, you know. Obviously, you can, hopefully, you can see it there. What we'll do is we'll zoom back out, and you'll be able to see it properly now. Is as you go further down, you actually pull it down, Sam. You see it? It starts to actually dim. You pull it back up, it undims. You know? I got to say, that is, it is cool, isn't it? Let's find out. That looks so awesome. And I see at the bottom, when you're not touching it, you know, it actually goes like a grey kind of colour. As soon as you touch it, it goes, it goes a nice cyan blue. And I start lifting it back up. There we go again. And I must say, I know it's not a massive, you know, a massive kind of change, but it's one of those that. You know, it'll sell a phone, believe it or not. People are gigs, it's like, that looks slick, I want it. Obviously, jumping into your settings, you know, um, there's nothing much different here. They've kind of changed the way the accounts work. You've got all your accounts here. If you want to add another account, you can add another one and go from there. Um, one kind of thing I'm not too sure about is I've only got two accounts up to them on Twitter and Google. Now, as you know, you can have loads of different ones like SoundCloud, WhatsApp, etc. Is if they'll all come here or if it'll all bundle into one folder. Because if they're all going to go here, on my other devices, I've got like 10. I don't want 10 more icons or 10 more rows here to have to flick through all of them. That'll be tad annoying, but obviously I don't know how that's going to work just yet. But yeah, I mean, so far, Project Butter, the new notification bar. What we'll try and do is I'm going to send a quick email off my one of my other devices. Right, so what I've done is I've sent a, an email off one of my other devices and what I'm hoping for it to do is actually come into the new lock screen. So there we go. So as you can see, it is, you know, a bigger kind of lock screen now. So obviously everything there, you know, you can actually view the whole of the actual email, see which email address it's come to, what it actually says in there, and there you go, hi Sam's viewers, or hey Sam's viewers. And I've sent that off one of my other devices. Now, if you want to actually make that smaller, you can use two fingers to go up, and it does that, and obviously you can then just see 
where email it's from and who it's to. And again, if you want to pull it back down, pull it back down and you can view it. And I think that's a cool little gesture, you know? How cool does that look? You've got to do two fingers and you go up and down with it. The cool thing is if you get like a missed call or a text message, when you pull it down, it'll give you like options. For like example, if you get like a text message, you'll be able to pull it down um, and have like a little reply button. You tap the reply button, it'll jump straight into it, obviously going straight to reply. Same like a missed call, you know, pull it down, and have like a little green button, tap it and away you go, start calling that person. Like, you know, you can in obviously previous versions of Android, you kind of swipe it away. You see there, cool animation again. See, it starts fading off as it goes away. But again, if you don't want it, swipe it away and off it goes. So yeah, that's um, all I've got to say. The new lock screen, not the not lock screen, new the notification bar, uh, it is pretty damn sexy and I like the way it works. You know, it is a very nice implementation of that. Now the next one we're going to show you is right past the actual home screens themselves and how stuff kind of moves around. So I don't know if you've actually, if you've ever seen a HTC One device, they actually do this already. But obviously this is something Google are implementing into the actual core operating system. So just to show you, if you want to move that underneath there, previously you would have had to remove it, move those up there and go from there. This one, you tap and hold, move it, and the stuff moved around with it as well. Show you again. I'm going to put it in the middle, or stick it there even. Put it in the middle, drop it in, and away it goes. I'm going to stick it in the top right hand corner, chuck it there, stuff moves away. You know, anywhere you go, it'll do it exactly as you want it to do. And I must say, I think that's a very cool implementation. You know, I think that's a very cool way they've done that. It's very quick, it's very slick. You know, it works with all of them. So if you want to actually like change, you know, the, the actual sizing and stuff as well, you change it like that. If I then want to put that onto another screen, so as an example, I want to put it there, remove that. Now obviously that's going to be too big to fit there because it needs to be all the way across. But what you do is you drag it across. When you try and stick it there, it actually resizes itself as well. And away you go. <laughs> How cool is that? So once again, pull it away. So I stick it on another screen. As you see, it's you know it's bigger now. Make it full screen, let's say. So now, if we actually want to move it, tap it across. As you can see, it's too big to fit there. But if we drop it, it'll actually fit to the actual size it should be. Now that is again, that is a very cool feature, and that's something that you know a lot of people have kind of wanted on Android for a while. You know, once again, Google have kind of you know stepped up to the plate, and they've given us it straight out of the box. And I must say, it works straight away, no problems at all. Now, I've already done an actual video dedicated just to Google, uh, the actual Google Now, which is basically Google's version, kind of Siri. Um, I'm only going to give you a quick look of it now, show you how to launch it. I'm just going to show you how to launch it. If you want to go see that one, click around here, you can go see that video. There's two ways to do it. You can either tap that up there, or if you just swipe up from the bottom, so as an example, you see there, swipe up from the bottom, tap in there, it jumps straight into the Google Now. And it tells you know, what your weather's like, etc. Um, and obviously, you want to start searching something, tap it there. And you can start searching as well. And there we go. So people, that's just a quick look at some of the new features on Jelly Bean. Um, if there's anything I've missed that you want me to show you, you know, hit me up down below and I'll be sure to make a video for you. If you've got any questions about it, you know, ask me on Twitter at Sam J Pullen. Uh, go check out my Facebook page, I reply to people on there as well. Um, leave comments down below because I always look at them, you know, I'm always replying to people. Anyway, I'm going to get off this one. Yeah, anyway, Thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in a future video. Enjoy Jelly Bean. <laughs> Cheers everyone.